Hi, and welcome to my multiplication timetable that I developed in a Microsoft Word document. So let me run it so that you guys see it. There, that is it. It was developed using Microsoft Word. So if I say five times table, that's what you get it five times table resets. 12 you see that and you can always say exit as usual so what I'll do now is to take you guys into the program itself so that you see how I'm, I've managed to put this very program together so let's go into the development environment now hi and welcome to my tutorial on uh, how to develop multiplication timetable using applica uh, using Microsoft application you see right up here you should have a developer if you don't have developer you can always press F you can always press a uh, alt plus F11 on your own system or another way out is for you to go to file and select option when you come to file you uh, you make sure you select customize ribbon and check in here you should see a menu called developer that's the right there you can always highlight and just add it if you want just add it onto the system and you will get it right there click on ok and that will be all then you should get your menu right up there or you can always press alt f 11 when you press alt f 11 your application should be similar to this all you then need to do is select insert then select user form and once a user form opens up this is what you will see a visual basic form within Microsoft Word so you can always uh, start your program so the next thing I intend to do now is to actually enter my list box that's a list box right there or let me start by defining the font and so on first so you can always change the font size to whatever you want there I've selected 20 so that's fine that's my font size there then um, for this very form I'm going to change the caption let's change the caption to multiplication right there that's my caption chain to multiplication timetable can you guys see it there so the next thing is let me get on my tools select list that's my list box there I will now select one text box there and maybe three command buttons it's called here so that's my three command buttons and maybe one right up here uh, let me get a, a label there that's my label there in this label and I just change the caption change the caption to multiplication timetable as well yeah that is it done okay I think I didn't have any need for this uh, toolbox anymore so I can always maybe just push it aside or get rid of it get rid of it. if I need it it's right there I can always get it back okay the next thing is to change the names as follows so this very command button I will change the caption to times table and the name right up there uh, let me change that to btn table done the next one that will be reset and the caption will be btn reset so I'll repeat the same and get back to you guys there all of the component now have names uh, the text box will be txt table I believe they all have names now that is correct exit yep 
list box that is it so I will now double click on let me start with my exit just say for the exit I will say end that's it right there done and right up here traditionally because I intend to declare my variables so I'm gonna say option explicit you enter option explicit there for those of you who are used to visual basic 6 we use option explicit those days and right here I'm actually def uh, declaring my variable so the data type that I'm using is integer that should be integer right there good that's my integer declared so the next thing I'll do is let me select my btn table okay right in btn table I will use an if statement if txt times table dot text equals empty I want a message box message box just to ask the end user to enter the following enter enter number to be multiplied and let me enter visual basic information icon right there enter and just say txt table dot in this case we enter set focus Let's see there we go that's it so that means set focus else okay. let me indent so that you guys will understand it clearly right there else I enter the following four okay this very table right there my variable there times table so using a for loop equals 1 to 12 equals 1 to 12 that is my list box dot add item okay what item must it add times table and times table and give me a multiplication sign and txt table dot text so whatever I enter in there and I want this sign equals there and my variable let's move this one aside so that you guys can see my variable times table multiplied by whatever is inside my text box and all you then need to do is say next close the bracket sorry about that press enter say, next and and if and your if statement okay there that's if and if statement for next for and that you must enter that okay let's try out this lines of code now so I'm just gonna go up there run that is what we get as our form our visual basic form enter any value in there click and that's what you guys will see so that's how you develop multiplication times table within Microsoft Word but uh, let's put a finishing touches to this I need to improve and maybe extend this uh, list box exit okay the necessary adjustment has been carried out so the next thing is uh, let me double click on the reset and the reset there I just need to ask it to clear clear my list box there Xbox declare and let me set focus set a focus and txt table dot set focus there okay that's that out of the way the next thing I want to do is let me ask the form itself 
when I run the program or like the form to officially set focus okay that's the form right there the subroutine for the form enter that line of code so let's try this program out now run the program again in the first place I will not enter anything there just to be sure the message box works click on that that's it asking me enter number to be multiplied okay you see the cursor right inside the text box so I'm gonna enter 12 times table so click there you see that guys that's 12 times table right there you can always reset you can see this is still there that means I haven't got rid of that yet so let's go back in there double click on reset there right there in reset I should actually say txt table dot text equals there that's it so I'll be able to clear that now now go back in there enter whatever value I want to multiply in there multiply reset you see that guys and that's how you develop a multiplication timetable using Microsoft Word documents okay guys so I'm going to exit double click and show you guys the codes can you see the codes very simple option explicit and reset and all of the commands all of the lines of codes used in the multiplication time table that's it right there set focus that's all there is to it guys you all have a nice day now